Hey y'all, this is Tori Imahara here uh, on NPS's channel, and today is part 50 of the Pearl LP, so that's pretty cool. And today, in a secrets part, we are going to take on the Fuego Ironworks. Now, off screen, I got all the trainers you could get in here, but I didn't get any of the items. And as you can see, it's lovely warp panel time! Woo! Warp panels. Yeah, they're a joy. So, let's try and figure this out. If you go this way, it makes that dude right there optional. And there's an item right there that obviously we want. So, let's get it. We find a burn heal. Always useful. Alright, then getting out of here. Next place we want to go is this way, I think. Yep, that works. So yeah, there's a lot of spinning, so spinny, 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 spinny. This one next. Alright, careful. Careful. Okay, good. Up. And here, we get a Firestone. If you have an Eevee, this will evolve it into a Flareon, which is not that great. Uh, it will also evolve uh, Arcanine into a or it will evolve uh, Growlithe into an Arcanine. So the one you want to take here is the top one. This will get you here. And then walk carefully around all these warp panels. And we will get a Rock Incense. This will increase the power of Rock type moves. careful. Sometimes it's better to walk in here. And then if you talk to this guy here, Mr. Fuego, well hello! It's not often I get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles, but no one was happy about it. They said the moving floor, moving floor made them dizzy. Yep. You don't want to listen to me whine. Here's a souvenir. And you get another Firestone for free. So that's kind of cool. Also, off screen in the Floroma Meadows, where I kind of showed off earlier, um, I found a Miracle Seed and I found um, something else. I forget what it was. Uh, yeah, you can find a couple of items in that Floroma Meadow, which you can only access by surfing from the Fuego Ironworks uh, down towards Floroma Town. So, yeah. That's the thing, and we just got flamethrower. So if someone can learn that, that would be awesome. So let's see if anyone can learn that. Ugh, that would help me out so much if someone can learn that move. Please, please, please let someone be able to learn this. Use. Yes. And no one is able. Woo! Oh, that's going to be great. Oh, and uh, I learned off screen that Simba does not learn Thunderbolt naturally, at least not in this game. So we're going to teach him Thunderbolt, even though Flo is able to. So we're going to teach him Thunderbolt. Yes. So we're going to forget Thunderfang for this because even though this is a physical attack, and this is a special attack, and his physical attack is better, this is 95 power and plus with the magnet, it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> Simba learned Thunderbolt. Awesome! So that's what we might do with that. Um, Twiggy already 
already has Earthquake, but let's see if anyone else can learn this. Sure. No one is able to learn it. Oh well, thought I'd try. Oh, uh, let's see here. Special. Well... No, I wanted to see who could learn Blizzard. Sure. Ruto is able and Frostine is able. Well, neither of them are special attackers. But Frostine's probably going to get Ice Beam, not Blizzard, because Ice Beam is better. And yeah, that stuff. Okay, next place that we're off to. Is, let's see here, could go there, but I'm thinking we want to see if that's open up to us. So we're going to go to Celestic Town next. Alright, and we're going to see if someone will give us something. It's not an item, it's a piece of information which we need. She might not give it to you till the post game, but it's worth a shot. So we need to talk to Cynthia's grandma here. So, yay! Okay, so if she is uh, talking about Mount Cornet, so this is after the Galactic Quest, she will uh, tell you about Dialga. You need to talk to her and get this in order to complete the, the uh, Sinnoh Pokédex. And get the national decks, which you need to access a certain something at the end of the game. So yay, we got that. And then I'm gonna show you now what I actually need waterfall for. Woo! So if you go this away towards the foggy area, you'll notice that there's an item down there that you can get with Surf. Which we will definitely be getting if I can find the way down. And actually, let's bike. So you can see okay without the fog. Okay, that's rock smashable area that I don't care about. That's an area where I need to go. Huh, how do you get down? How do you get down? Aha! Down. Yes. Okay, so we need to put up a super repel. I got a lot of these! Woo! I should be good for a quite a long time. I don't need to buy a lot of any of those for quite a while. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. All right, up here, if you use Waterfall, there's not only a trainer, but there's a couple of items you will want. There is a TM, which we may be teaching to flow and probably will be, uh, and that is Psychic. And there is also the Wave Incense. This will up Water-type moves out the wazoo, and we are definitely getting that for Flo as her permanent item. But we can't get that until we have Waterfall. So I am sorry, people, that I was wrong that you actually need Waterfall for this one teeny little secret. And, of course, there's a Waterfall area in Mount Cornet, but I really don't know what that's for. So we're probably not going to cover that in this LP. So let's see here. And it looks like you need Waterfall for that item over there, too. So I was really wrong. Oh, well. The next thing we can do, at least, is fly. To Snow Point City. And now we're going to run, 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 run. And there's a temple here that is called the Snow Point Temple that you can't access unless if you're chosen, quote unquote. 
I personally have no idea how you access that. I really just don't know people how you open that up. So, figure that out for yourself, look it up on Bulbapedia, etc. So, the next thing we're gonna do is go this way. So, this is Lake Acuity. And I believe we already got the TM here. Yes, we got Blizzard. So, if you go this way after beating Team Galactic, and go here. Hey y'all, this is Tony Mahar here, and uh, this is a continuation part 50 because earlier I was trying to catch Uxie and it was just very frustrating, so I decided we're going to save that till later. So instead, we're going to get some trainers. Oh, how I wish the surf speed was faster. Uh, good old Gen 3 surf speed. How oh, I miss you. Alright, so let's go get those trainers. And we're going to get a TM, which we're definitely going to teach uh, Miss Frostine. And we're just going to use the icicle plate and make it very, very useful. Unless if we can find, of course, the Nevermelt Ice. But I don't know where that is. At least in this game. Come on, where are those trainers? No, I do not like this area. It makes me slow, and I can't move very well, and just, ugh. I love snow for how pretty it is, but I hate, hate walking through it. Don't care right now. Wishing I could actually run running would be nice. There we go. We can run now. Alright. Using another rappel. Okay. Now, where's that area? There's that area. I know this has been mocking you for ages, but now we can use rock line. Alright. Since these trainers up here are completely 100% optional, I'm going to cut them out. So I'll see y'all in a moment. Alright, so after that cut, the only thing interesting that happened is that we had a fourth. It doesn't affect flow! Being stalkery. So, if you go over here, you will get a mental herb. This will cure infatuation or prevent infatuation. One of the two. And over here, you find an HP up. Great. Alright, well, we're cutting this trainer out. Alright, nothing interesting happened. And over here, this is what we're really interested in. We find Ice Beam. Hooray! This is a great ice-type move, and we are definitely teaching this to Miss Frostine. Yes, I know she's a physical attacker, but I figure with the icicle plate, it'll work. Yes. Compare this to Avalanche, which is 60 power. This has 95! Frostine learned Ice Beam. Awesome. Now we're going to give her her permanent item, unless if we actually find the uh, Never Melt Ice or something that's like, I don't know, Frost Incense or something like that, if that exists. We're going to give her the Icicle Plate. Where is it? And this is going to be her permanent item. Yes. Awesome. So she gets a stab and she has that Icicle Plate. So that's going to help her out. 
So off screen, I'm going to get those optional trainers. And in the next episode, we are going to finally go off to Sunny Shore City, the next city in the game, and continue with the story. Woohoo! Uh, and finally get Waterfall, and then we can finish off the secrets. So I'll see y'all then. Bye!